class. This is Alexa Dussome, and she came to our classroom today to talk about engineering. What about flooding? Ooh, oh, yeah. Look at the house. Yeah. I had a it's flooding a house before. Mm -hmm. So this is what I actually do. This is the town that I grew up in, and it flooded like this when I was just a little bit older than How old? Seven. I grew up in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and when I was seven and a half in 97, the town flooded. The winter when I turned seven, we had about 96 inches of snow, which is three times more than usual. And that combined with all the rains that they got in the fall meant perfect flooding conditions. It was definitely a memorable experience early on in life. So we evacuated and I went and stayed with my grandma for a while. and. Then when we came back, we didn't have heat or anything quite yet in the house. My parents had cleaned up most of it at that point, and so the berm was covered in piles of trash from all of the houses. Then the Army Corps of Engineers came in and they built a project. Now the city with temporary levees can be protected up to about a 500 year flood. I didn't know at that point in time that I wanted to be an engineer. I didn't know what an engineer was yet. I got involved with drawing floor plans from my parents because they're always changing their house. I wanted to be an architect after that. So that's the direction I was going until I realized that I wanted to do more math. So I decided to go to school for civil engineering. I enrolled at the University of North Dakota, and that's in Grand Forks too, so I stayed in my hometown. I started there and started taking the classes. I realized and came back to water resources and being able to work on flood risk reduction projects, and it all circled back to the flood from when I was a kid. Since I started at Moore, I work on these flood risk reduction projects. We'll put together a HECRAS model. It's a software from the Army Corps of Engineers. And we'll use that to figure out how the floodplain looks and how we can reduce it. Maybe that includes making a diversion channel to route the water a different direction, or maybe putting a levee in to block the water from reaching the town. Another aspect of the job is putting together reports to communicate with the clients. Communication is super important with engineering. It's not something you expect when you're in school, but you have to put together plans and specifications to communicate with the contractor to make sure that the project is built how you want it. You need to be able to communicate with your clients and with the public to make sure that they understand what you did. I wasn't really involved with ASCE when I was in college. I got recruited by a coworker once I started at Moore and started going to board meetings and the multi-region leadership conference in 2016 and found out that the Dream Big film was going to be coming out and it was exciting that engineering was going to be featured on the big screen for once. I started talking with the people at Discover E and to see what we could do in North Dakota because we don't have any IMAX theaters. We put together teams for five different cities across the state. In the end, we ended up being able to show the film to 2,000 students across the state, and we had about 200 adults who also came to the viewings. After Dream Big, I was elected, and I'm now vice president of the North Dakota section of ASCE. The women engineers in our office go to a different classroom or some local event at least once a month. Sometimes that's kindergarten classrooms, sometimes it's middle schools, sometimes we're talking to high school and to ASCE students and college too. After a while, I realized that I wasn't teaching boys very often. I was always asked to go teach young girls about engineering. We brought together AAW and the local university and we started a new event called BrainSTEM where we have all boys and girls and all of the teachers are from underrepresented groups in STEM. One of my favorite things about engineering is helping people. A lot of times when you think about helping people, you think about doctors or police or firefighters. You don't think of engineering, but we solve problems to make people's lives simpler and safer each day.